to the world. Welcome. This meditation will be a guided one. There will be some added additions to follow, but for now we're going to get started with this one meditation that will guide you through your physical body, your etheric body, your emotional and your mental body. This is important because everything starts within and if we have some disconnections inside our body, we need to address them. I have found that this inspiration has come to me and it's been growing and growing into more and more depth. So to start off, I want us to open and relax, be fully present to our body, giving thanks for this time, for this opportunity. We're going to breathe. As we breathe in, we're going to fill our belly like a bubble. And as we breathe out, we can relax our belly. So on the top of our head, we're going to ask the white light, the beautiful crystalline, liquid, cosmic white light coming from the top to come down and wash over the actual outline of our physical body. We have mathematical measurements that separate our certain bodies. So we want to outline so we can visualize our physical body now with a radiant white crystalline glow. Breathing that in, noticing our boundaries of our physical body. And breathing in one really big breath, we're going to ask one of those rain clouds to drop the tornado water spout into us, right to the bottom of our physical body, right to the edges of our toes and washing up and stirring all of the pollution that we've collected in our body. Stirring that up, pulling with it all the garbage, and as the water spout spins out and leaves the top of our head, all the pollution goes with it. So now we find that our, our physical body is full of that crystal water. Full of it. So the beautiful white light is to the remain. And now we notice our body, not only the edge, but the inside is glowing with the most beautiful crystalline light ever possible. Giving thanks. Moving to the two, three inches on the edges of our body. It's called our etheric body. We're going to also ask the white light to wash over this and to outline and to give notice of this crystalline white light two and three inches around our physical body. Noticing this, noticing the density of the color inside the etheric body, we're going to ask again a beautiful water spout to drop through that crystalline body two, three inches on the top on the right and the left and the back and below our feet. So dropping that water spout two, three inches below our feet, stirring all the pollution up all the way, all the way until it leaves that top of us, bringing the pollution away out into the cosmos where it will be transformed. And we notice now that our etheric body is beautiful and clear as white light. We're noticing now the membrane between the physical body and the etheric body. And we're noticing that they want to actually be one. So because the light is so clear, like we've washed the windows, we're going to remove that pane of glass from our physical body and our etheric body. Removing that now. So our physical and our etheric are now one larger section. I actually can feel joy in reuniting those. We're gonna ask now that the white light washes over to expose the outline of our emotional body. Our emotional body has the mathematical measurements that go to the bend of our arm. So we're noticing now that behind us, in front of us, the right and left, we have the measurements of a foot around of our emotional body. Now, if you have experiences like me, when you get upset, your emotions rise, your emotional body may flow out past that crook of your arm and into the next body, which is the mental body. So by asking the white light to come down and to outline your emotional body, 
noticing where it is. It might be way past the measurements it should be. So we're bringing that in now, that outline, bringing it back into measurement. The foot below our feet, whatever it is, just bring it back in. And we're asking that water spout now to do its magic and bring back that dumping of beautiful crystalline water into our emotional body all the way a foot below us stirring up all that pollution bringing it all the way up now we have that water tornado bringing all the way out and removing from the top of our head about a foot above with it with all the pollution now we're noticing that our emotional body free of pollution this beautiful crystalline white light and a surprise for you aqua light aqua color soothing beautiful aqua color of a Caribbean ocean basking in our best selves when we're on vacation in that beautiful crystalline water that water for me represents a more of a feminine aspect beautiful soothing aqua in our crystalline body and our emotional body now notices that it can see through the glass and it wants to join now through the etheric and the physical body. So we take that pane of glass out now that it's clean and we move it, removing all the pain that goes with that. When we're in our emotional body, we're feeling so good and peaceful in there. This is a space where we can just rest and rejuvenate and return all the beautiful aspects of ourselves, loving ourselves and breathing knowing that we've adjusted all the boundaries within these. So now we have our emotional body that wants to meet up with our mental body that reaches from the bend of the elbow to the tips of our finger, or at least it should. With all of our mind being so busy and the mental pollution that we have, sometimes the boundaries flow out past us and just weigh us down because we can't carry all of that. So we're asking that beautiful crystalline white light to wash over us another foot outside of us finding the boundaries of our mental body and bringing it back to the tips of our fingers and those and another foot below us we're getting pretty big now our aura is building but our aura is lighter now because of the pollution and the weight is leaving us so we're asking the beautiful white light to come through once again in a beautiful bombardment, restructuring all of those aspects of our mental body and dropping into us and stirring up all the pollution, bringing it up into the tornado, raising above our head, leaving us with all of the pollution from our mental body. Wow, our mind is calm. We can notice now that our, that our mental body now has white light in it. It's clear. And we can see through the pain that separates us from our mental body and our emotional body. We can see now that our mental body has the color of sapphire blue. The beautiful waters of all of the earth that incorporate that beautiful sapphire blue and within our skies as well. That is so beautiful. And the, the emotional body of the aqua color is noticing her beloved sapphire complement is on the other side of that wall. They want to reunite. Now that there's pollution and that wall is clean, let's remove that pain that separates the emotional and the mental body, removing it. Those two colors are now joining and reuniting and swirling around in the double vortexes. And we're just so pleased to see each other for the soul feels like it's just met itself again. All along, it's been hidden from the pollution within our physical, our etheric, our emotional and our mental body all along the blueprint of our next level self has been there all we need to do is wash ourselves clean and remove the pains that incorporate that we've brought with us for this lifetime and many others this color is magical it's swirling around it's no longer just aqua and sapphire it's azure 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 do we recognize that word? Is that the magical color of when we see in depictions of magic and, and wizardry and the Holy Spirit and all of the potential that's within that? I believe so. 
So within the body, we now mix the azure within our physical self, swirling. There are no boundaries. There are no boundaries. Our aura is one. We remove density, and we are free to mingle with spirit. So now what we look like when we see ourselves is right to the ends of our fingertips. We are now azure color. We are walking around, and that's our boundaries. And that beautiful magic of will transform anything that our day comes. And when we need to return to this again, and we will find some insults, and there will be a way cracks will come through, especially with the energies of 2020 and 2021. We're not through this yet. So please, breathe it in, fill your belly, and let it go. Remember these new tools. Remember our bodies are remembering this one beautiful, flowing, magical being of azure light, of spirit. This is to be celebrated. I thank you for joining me. I thank you, and I celebrate you for enjoying this. Please return to this whenever you feel like you need a boost. I know I do. And please check back in with me at Ruby Vision Empowerment for the updates that I get with the advanced information that will build upon this. I thank you. Namaste.